Hi, and welcome to this new demonstration. My name is Duncan Epping, and today I'm going to be showing you how to scale out a vSAN file services cluster. As you can see, I already have vSAN enabled, and I also have vSAN file services enabled. I have five hosts in my cluster, and I also have five vSAN file services VMs up and running in my environment. I've already configured the network and all of that, so uh, that is not something we have to do right now. The first thing that we will need to do in order to move this host into the cluster is simply place it into maintenance mode. It needs to be placed into, ma into maintenance mode because what I will need to do first is I will need to first create a disk group before I can actually start using this particular host. So I've placed it into maintenance mode and now I'm sim simply going to drag and drop it into the cluster. As you can see, I've dropped it into the cluster and vSAN is doing a reconfiguration task in order to pull this host into the vSAN cluster itself. What I will need to do next is I will need to create a disk group for this particular host. So I'm going to go to my cluster object and then within my cluster object I'm going to go to the disk management section. Within the disk management section I'm going to simply select the host itself and then I'm going to click create disk group. After I've clicked uh, create disk group what I will need to do is I will need to select the disks or the SSD devices that need to be part of my particular disk group for this host. So I'll be selecting the caching uh, tier first and then I will select the rest of the devices as my capacity tier. I've just uh, clicked finish and now the disk group is going to be uh, created on the back end and after that has finished what I can do is I can take the host out of maintenance mode. Now what will happen as soon as I take it out of maintenance mode is that a, a new vSAN file services VM will be cloned to this host. So a new file services VM uh, should pop up literally uh, within a couple of uh, seconds and uh, as you can see it just popped up vSAN file services node 6 and uh, this node will also be powered on within a, a couple of seconds as well. There you go, it has just powered on. Now the interesting part here is the following. Although the VM itself has been powered on, uh, it doesn't actually mean there's a file services stack running on, uh, within that particular virtual machine. The file services stack is a container or I should rather say the file services stack runs within a container and in order uh, to have those containers up and running you will need to have, provide an IP address. As you can see we have five of these file service uh, containers up and running in our environment but we actually have six virtual machines so there's a discrepancy here. So what we will need to do in order to ensure that we have that six container up and running as well is we need to expand the IP pool that is part of the file service. So I'm going to edit the file service configuration details. I'm going to go to IP pool and I'm actually going to add an additional IP address for my file services environment. I'm specifying the IP address and then what I can do is we can simply click lookup DNS so that it actually provisioned the DNS name into the UI itself. I'm going to click next, next, finish. And now what's going to happen is that a sixth uh, protocol stack container is going to be instantiated in our environment automatically. So this happens in a fully automated fashion. As soon as it completes, we can simply go back to uh, Skyline Health and see if that container has been instantiated. So it takes a couple of seconds before it completes. And then we will go to monitor and go to the uh, Skyline Health section. So let's head over there and see if that container has actually been instantiated. We're going to click Skyline Health and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the vSAN file services section in the uh, health check. And as you can see, everything is green. So that means it should all be healthy. The infrastructure looks okay. We have six hosts in our environment and we should be able to see six of these file services containers as well. As you can see, we now all of a sudden have six of these containers up and running. And with that, we reached the end of the demo. Hopefully I've been able to show you how easy it is to scale out a vSAN file services environment and hopefully you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.